All right, welcome back. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to actually pull off this video or not. I guess if you're watching it, it means uh, I did it to where I liked it enough. Um, but I'm going to try to explain the madness of me changing all of my settings and rebinding and defaulting, um, all the things that I've posted as quickly as possible. Uh, and really the summary of that can be boiled down to the heavy car glitch. Um, you know, the thing that people have been complaining about for the last 10 years. Uh, I really think that, you know, a lot of that is dictated from the categorical changes that you have made to your settings in Rocket League. Um, and I'm going to try to quickly explain what I mean by that. Um, so when two brand new players log on to Rocket League for the first time ever, uh, you know, their settings are completely identical. They haven't made any changes, which means that their physics, their touches, their uh, overall user experiences are exactly identical. Uh, if those two players binded arrow right first like this, and they both did that, uh, my argument is that the same thing. Those two players have the exact same user experience, physics, touches, everything like that. Uh, but as soon as one of them starts to deviate and make different changes from the other, say one of them bound arrow left next, but the other one decided to change arrow to uh, a different button instead, uh, that would be a unique user experience for both of those people. Neither of them are going to have the same experiences. Their touches are going to be completely different. Their Rocket League experience is going to be different. Uh, and the things that they can do in this game uh, is going to be completely different. Uh, so that is really the summary of where I'm coming from when I talk about, you know, the changes made to your settings uh, alters your game. And I know that that sounds absolutely ridiculous and it's the dumbest thing ever. Uh, but it's unbelievably true, and I encourage you to try it. Um, but again, you saw me bind arrow right and left. You know, this has altered my game in a manner that it has applied some type of properties to the physical properties of my car. So it's not when I'm using arrow like this. It is the analog stick or the input lag that uh, I get when doing air steer. It's the input lag when I am turning my car with the analog stick on the ground. Uh, it applies to touches of the car. Um, you know, lots of other things as well that I cannot really explain unless you try them yourself. Um, but the heavy car bug really can just be boiled down to that. Making too many changes in your settings or changing the wrong buttons in your settings. If I were to um, and again, this is kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, I don't feel terribly restricted in the game. Um, but if I were to, let's just say, rebind, drive backwards, you know, this has its own unique properties that's been added to my car. If I continue to make changes and I continue to just touch buttons in here, again, I'm just going to start rebinding things, you know, in different orders. You know, that has now affected my car, and I've rebinded the wrong buttons. This has now affected my car in a manner that I cannot control. Um, I feel ungodly slow. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, again, this is the heavy car bug. Um, you know, my car now has a bunch of different properties that have been stacked on. I can't even turn my wheels. Um, let's see if I can do anything there. All right, well, that feels all right. Um, again, it's it's something that I can't explain. I can't describe it. I cannot tell you exactly what, you know, what the perfect solution is. Um, if you've been playing this game for ever and ever and you feel like your car is just super restrictive the only thing i can recommend that you do is either create an alt account or just do exactly this you want to just default uh, a bunch of different times oh shit <laughs> default a bunch of different times and uh then just reset up your stuff just rebind you know whatever buttons you want that you actually play the game with uh, and see how, you know, categorically you feel after that. Um, but that really is the summary of the heavy car bug. It really is just 
the buttons that you change in Rocket League and your s controller settings have effects on your car and you know when you make too many changes or you ch change the wrong thing uh, you can really mess up your entire Rocket League experience so um, you know I guess that was a good enough video at this point <laughs> cheers <laughs>